Hey everybody, this is simulation of Neptune and Pluto orbits done in GeoGebra. The scales both around x-axis and y-axis you see are in astronomical unit. One astronomical unit as you know is closer to 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles for my American friends. Here is Pluto orbit and as you can see highly eccentric at its perihelion that is closest to sun it's around 30 au it's aphelion it's close to 50 au its orbital eccentricity is 0.25 highly highly eccentric so here is sun at one of its focal point of the eclipse the other focal point is closer to Uranus orbit around close 20 AU. This is how elliptic Pluto is. Uranus orbit on the on the other hand, this is Uranus, pretty circular. Neptune is also pretty circular orbit with its orbital eccentricity as 0.01. So at perihelion it's a little bit less than 30 AU. At aphelion a little bit more than 30 AU. Now because Pluto's orbit is highly elliptical, it is inside Neptune's uh, orbit for a period of time. So here are two points that shows within which the orbit of Pluto is actually inside the orbit of Neptune. Pluto entered into this region where it was inside in 1979 and exited in 1999. Around 1979, Neptune was around here and when Pluto exited in 1999, it was around here. Pluto was in its perihelion close to 1989 and this is where Neptune was. So even though they, the Pluto is inside Neptune's orbit, the distance between Pluto and Neptune is pretty high. So you can do some guesstimates around here. It's close to 17 AU. In fact, Uranus at its closest is closer to Pluto than Neptune. The closest distance between Pluto and Uranus is around 11 AU. The closest distance between Pluto and Neptune is around 17 AU. And that is part because of the orbital periods. Pluto's orbital period is around 1.5 times Neptune's orbital period. That is, if Neptune takes three periods, completes three periods around its orbit, Pluto completes around two. And I'm going to show that to you. So this is Neptune and this is Pluto. So I'm going to start the animation and see uh, how many rounds each complete. Go, one, two, three, go. All right, here's a Neptune dot. There you go. Now Neptune is outside Pluto's orbit. That's one for Neptune. And that's one for Pluto. There you go. Two for Neptune. And now, so you see they're getting closer here. And there you go, two for Pluto and three for Neptune. So because of the orbital periods and the fact that Pluto's orbital plane is tilted to about 17 degrees, uh, there is still a lot of difference, distance between Pluto and Neptune even though Pluto's orbit at times could be inside uh, Neptune's um, period. So now, because we just witnessed this in 1979 to 1999, the next time around that's going to happen is not in this century, and it will probably happen in 23rd century. So until then, keep moving. I hope you like this video, and thank you very much.